Hey everyone, Sam here. In this web series, we'll solve common web problems with standards. These techniques are part of the web platform and work with any framework or library. Okay, let's go. Forms make up online stores, signups, and actually I find them really painful. So get a coffee, energize your brain, and let's make them easier by not overthinking them and adding some validation rules, which come for free as part of the web platform. You can add required to any HTML input element to prevent a user hitting submit on their form without a value, or specify format to require the user's input to match a regex that you provide. And most importantly, HTML gives you an overabundance of types to choose from. Do you just want a phone number? You can just ask for one. Do you want a color? You could write your own picker, but turns out nearly every browser has an inbuilt one. You can also you know, ask for dates and times, and this is great because it deals with the user's locale on your behalf. To trigger form validation, users normally have to hit the Submit button. You can also trigger this with JavaScript. Once validation has started, you can take advantage of CSS rules to style your inputs based on you know, whether they're correct or not. For me personally, I like to add adjacent hidden elements that become visible if the user's done something incorrect. Use required for fields that are required. Use format with the correct type when you need it. Use a type to ask for a phone number or color or whatever you want. And give your user feedback on input via CSS rules. This is how I build form validation the standard way. See you on the next tip. Hit, hit, hit. Sorry, I'm going way off script and it's very confusing. Um, I actually like it.